Welcome to this episode. Uh, we're going to talk about disabling CDs and removable storage classes on Workstation. So here I have my domain controller and what we're going to do today is basically prevent regular users from accessing CDs and DVDs or USBs from the actual workstations they work on. And why is that important? So uh, sometimes if you work in closed areas, uh, we we want to prevent insider threat and there are something called data transfer agents or basically the people who are allowed to uh, be authorized to bring in data usually the system admins and what we're going to do today is on the user level we're going to prevent any user any regular domain user from a accessing the CD or DVD drive so why is that important like why don't we just like disable the you know a port on the physically on the, the on the web desktops you could do that but you know sometimes that's not an option and because we still want to be able to use it to work so now we're going to jump right into it i'm going to go to group policy management should be quick and painless so in group policy management we're going to go to group policy objects and i'm going to click new i'm going to name this disable or let's say, yeah, actually disable is fine. Disable CD, DVD, and USB dri drives, GPO. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it, uh, you know, prevent. So I'm gonna click OK. And now we're gonna drill into the policy. So we have two options here in the group policy management. So you got the computer config and the user configuration. So if you would like to do this on the computer side, so say I have two Windows workstation, workstation one and two, and I want to be able to prevent anyone from even opening up the CD drive and reading or executing or writing to it, you want to do this on the computer side. But since, you know, if you have a lot of help desk folks or just privileged users that still need to work, uh, we want to do this on the user side and basically link that to the respective uh, groups. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to go to user config, I'm going to drill down into policies, go to administrative templates, and then I'm going to go down to system and drill down to remove stored access. So once you're in this policy, we're going to disable just a few of them, or actually about seven. So we're going to go down to DVDs. We're going to disable this one, uh, this one. I'm sorry, we're supposed to enable. So it says right here, if you enable this policy, read access is denied to this removal storage class. So we're going to do this for all of them. We're going to enable every single one. And then we're going to go to removal disk. Enable and deny write access enabled and any USBs, any storage classes, and click enable. And we're gonna close this out now. This is configured. The next thing we'll need to do is uh, I'm gonna show you my AD structure. So I in my domain I have general users and privileged users, and my general user I have, I have one test user called Blue Falcon and what I'm going to do is link that GPO I just created to this organization unit and what that's going to do is when I sign in Blue Falcon it should error out so so I'm going to go down here general users where my Blue Falcon is we're going to link an existing GPO click disable CD DVDs and now that it's been deployed we're going to run a quick GP update Enforce it now, and I'm gonna sign. I'm gonna sign out my workstation one. I'm just gonna sign back in, and it should. I'm gonna sign in the general user account, which is Blue Falcon. Yeah, yes, I need to activate it. I know. Now I'm going to click this PC. Now it should. 
just work. And as you can see, when I double click this, it says D drive is not accessible, access is denied because now I'm signing as Blue Falcon. And anytime I need access to DVD drive or USB, it should prevent that user from doing this on the software side. But if they did have like if physical access and they had a pen, they could still open it and jack in the CD, but they won't be able to read it if they're using this account. So, and this ends this tutorial. Thank you.